Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how can you move data from production Elasticsearch cluster to QA Elasticsearch cluster with the, with, with the fastest speed. So how do we even do this, right? A lot of people are like, ah, we gotta do ingest the data again. Ah, not so good idea. If you have a use case where you wanna move production data to QA, here is how you should be doing in Elasticsearch on AWS. So let's get started with this video. All right, so uh, here is your production Elasticsearch cluster, right? And here is your uh, QA Elasticsearch cluster, right? So the way you should move data from production Elasticsearch cluster to QA, first of all, you should not use Reindex API. And the reason I say that you should not use because Reindex is much more expensive. So rather what you wanna do is basically on AWS, you wanna essentially create a role and then you wanna attach the policy uh, and you wanna attach the role to that policy and I'll show you the code in a second, okay? So what you'll do is you'll, you'll, do, you'll do that and then you're gonna run a, you're gonna run a script that's gonna register a, a repository. So you wanna take a snapshot essentially of those indexes. So what you're gonna do is you, you're gonna take, you're gonna first of all register S3 bucket, right? So you'll register the bucket. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna essentially uh, fire the snapshot API. So you're gonna take the snapshot of the index. We'll put this here. Uh, so the this you will take a snapshot. The snapshot essentially what it does is it, it essentially puts data on the S3. Okay. So it's gonna dump the data on the S3. Now what you wanna do in AWS you wanna set up. Uh, so in your QA right you wanna set up a bucket here. We'll call this QA elk bucket whatever. Now what you want to do, I'm going to go to my paint because I've already done this, done this process in my company. Uh, so now you want to set up a replication rule on the S3 bucket, right? So you want to select the source as this and the destination as this. You'll enter the account ID since they are on different account, right? So you'll put the account ID and then you're going to move essentially all the data or uh, the snapshot data from, so we'll put this one. So you'll move the data to here now. So essentially this is a copy now, right? So uh, so using uh, built-in AWS, right? You're gonna create a copy, right? So you, you'll create the copy of the bucket and then in the QA, you're simply gonna restore uh, re restore the data. You're gonna restore the data uh, from that S3 bucket now. So essentially now think about the process, right? What's the process? Well, you have a job that's gonna kick up maybe weekly, monthly, quarterly. That's gonna essentially, uh, you know, uh, once you have created the repository, you have, you have done all the policy, it's gonna take a snapshot of your index and it's gonna put it on an S3. And now you have a bucket replication rule through which your data has been replicated from one bucket to the other bucket, that is through QA bucket. Now you essentially fire up a restore command on the QA bucket and restore the data from production. That's how you wanna do it, right? A little bit tutorial I think will help you definitely. Uh, before we, let me adjust my screen a little bit. Uh, I always, always, always have a hard time. Uh, I think, let me, okay, I think I can change this over here. Yeah, it's fine. So, uh, demo, right? Let's, let, let's see a demo. So first of all, I have a code. I'll leave, leave the links in the description uh, for the snippets, right? Uh, let me zoom in. So uh, first of all, you'll create this role, essentially. This role essentially allows um, uh, access to the S3 bucket, get put items, all right, you'll, you'll create a policy, you'll attach that role to the policy. Once you do that, I have a simple class that does all the job for you. So first of all, you need to register a repository, right? Uh, repository means it's a name, right? Uh, so you register your S3 bucket, right? So you will do that and once you register it, then I'll show you the next part of it. For example, let's say I have an index called sample and I have a document message is equal to Saumil. Now I wanna create a snapshot of that, right? So the way you do that is, you say, uh, first of all, uh, you can say get underscore cat underscore repository. So this will show you all the repository that you have. Right now, I have one registered repository. You will see this name after you run the script, okay? It's very important. So I, I, did, I ran the script, I have the repository, I'm showing you the steps after that, right? After that, uh, you can essentially, uh, you know, uh, get all the um, uh, snapshot within the repository. So if I run this command, I only have one snapshot. As you can see, it's a list of array object. I have one called snapshot one. I'm gonna create one shortly, so don't worry about that. Now, how do I create a snapshot of this index? So put underscore snapshot, you put the repository name. In this case, it's um, 
uh, QA elastic repository, whatever name you have, right? Then you provide an alias, whatever you want to call this repository. So sample, I can call this sample copy, right? So, uh, and then you provide the index for which you want to take a snapshot. We'll fire that up, you get accepted as true. Um, I have done this for about 300 gigabytes and it took roughly around 20 minutes. So it's pretty fast, okay, to um, uh, do this, right? So uh, we create a sample copy. Now, if you go to repository all, again, if I fire this command, you will see something called sample copy, right? So we created a snapshot. The snapshot is on your S3 bucket. Uh, now, what you want to do is I'm going to delete the index. So this, this index is gone just so I can show you because if I if I try to search for uh, that index, I won't be able to search. I mean, it's going to give me an error. So I think I got to say it's going to give me an error because that index is not there, right? Now let's restore that. So now I'm gonna say uh, get underscore snapshot, the repository name all. So this is gonna show me all the snapshots that I have. And you know, you just created one called sample copy. Now at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say restore, right? So I'm gonna say post snapshot repository name and the name that you gave, right? So here I wanna say sample copy and then I will say a restore. So now when I fire this command, this is gonna restore my index. And now if I try to search, I can search my index back. So uh, if you see the logic on a high, high level diagram is you have your QA elastic search, you'll create a role, you'll register the bucket, right? Once you register the bucket, then you fire the snapshot command, uh, right? Just the way we did it on Kibana or through a cron job Lambda. The snapshot essentially will take a snapshot, it will dump to the bucket, right? And from the bucket, you will have a replication rule. So this is gonna, uh, I think, yeah. So I think, uh, yeah, now it's visible. So now you'll set up a, 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 man, a replication rule on AWS S3 bucket. So you move the data from essentially one bucket to the other bucket, it's gonna do that. AWS offers that feature. Now your data is in the QA bucket. Now you can simply initiate a restore and uh, reload, reload all the production data to the QA Elasticsearch. Hope this is use, useful. Uh, the reason I try my best to create tutorials is uh, not everybody, uh, you know, uh, gets gets an exposure to work with everything, right? Uh, I get a lot of exposure working with a lot, of, a lot of different things, right? Which is why I try my best to educate people and tell people, hey, this is how you want to do it. If you really enjoy this sort of, sort of tutorial, do let me know in the comment section below. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming, and I would see you guys in the next video.